Welcome back to the channel folks, hand painted canvas backdrops, that's what we're talking about in this video and specifically I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own in a matter of minutes. Yes folks, those hand painted canvas backdrops, the ones that we see so often in many portraits online on Instagram, they look absolutely fantastic, they are absolutely fantastic to use. I use two myself, I use two artery hand painted canvas backdrops which are produced by artists from Serbia and they are absolutely stunning, they really are, but I know these backdrops are out of reach for a lot of people because they are really expensive. So I've put together a set of brushes, a set of texture brushes from my ultimate brush pack which is available on the website to download. So it'll allow you to create your own hand painted canvas textures to your portrait images in minutes. And it really is super effective. Before we jump into the tutorial and show you how I create those canvas backdrop looks to my photographs, I just want to say a big massive thank you to everybody who has downloaded the brushes so far. I've had a great response. It's been overwhelming to be fair. Honestly, I'm over the moon with everybody who's been super happy with the brushes and thought that they were absolutely fantastic. So a big thank you to each and every one of you guys. Um, what we're going to do in this video, like I say, is we're going to go through how you can reproduce your hand painted canvas backdrops in Photoshop using these brushes. Now I have recently just released a video showing you how you can use the water splash brushes, which are in the pack. In this ultimate bundle pack they are available also within that pack and um, i'll pop a link to a video up here where you can go over and check that video out how you can add water splashes to your product photography super effective way of doing that also now, like i say the 76 brushes within this brush pack they are available on the website download so if you want to head over there to uh, and check those out feel free now if you are sitting on the fence or you have been sitting on the fence about purchasing these brushes and using these brushes in your workflow i have actually put together two canvases which we're going to create in this tutorial and um, for you guys to download completely free so you can check out and see how well these brushes work to create those unique hand painted canvas looks to your images all you have to do is head over to the website subscribe to the mailing list and i will send you those two canvases completely free for you guys to use whatever you want or just to check them out and see how these brushes work and uh, they are fantastic so Let's get started. On this tutorial, I'm going to take a, an image that I've shot a year back on a, a plain background, and we're going to add our texture to that background and show you how effective these brushes are. So we'll jump to Photoshop right now. So this image has come from a photo shoot which I've done with Alex over a year and a half ago now. Um, and as you can see, I've just photographed Alex on a plain grey background. Now this background, I used to use all the time, and I used to add the textures to this background, and this is a great way to do it. Now we don't have to use a grey background because what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is we're going to cut out Alex from the background and we're just going to add our own textures to that background and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection of Alex. Um, now I've already made a selection in preparation for this video so I'm just going to load that selection which will make a nice selection of Alex. I'm going to invert that selection and it's, that's going to allow us just to paint on the background and it's not going to affect Alex at all. So I'm going to duplicate the layer, make the selection of Alex, and then we're going to start painting on that layer. I've actually created my own colour palette. Um, now you guys, I suggest you guys do it. You pick a range of colours that you like the look of or that are going to work within the image that you're shooting and create a colour palette and just stick to that colour palette and just start using that colour palette on your canvas backdrop. It is a really good way of, uh, of creating these backdrops. So once you've got your colour palette, then it's time to select the brush. Now there's four texture brushes within this brush pack. Now I've created four specifically because I think that's the only brushes you'll need to create this look to the, uh, to the images. They are just a fantastic set of brushes which using them, making them larger, making them smaller, just creates unique look and unique patterns all over the, the backdrop. So we'll start by picking a dark colour and I like to work by obviously just keep creating a vignette around the subject. So once the image is finished you've got that nice natural vignette around the subject and it keeps the focus on the subject so we'll just pick a black from the color palette and we'll pick brush number one and we'll just start adding that texture around our subject alex on the background and you can see the texture is just obviously adding to the uh, the background there nice and easy we're just painting them on now what i'll do is i'll just randomly pick the colors in no specific order and just keep adding them on top and we just keep building those those colors up one on top of each other one after another and that's going to create a nice depth to the background so once we've applied the uh, the texture to this image we're going to start adding our own layers 
and start building up with background canvas on that layer. Now I would highly recommend you using the layer um, method to create these images because what you can do is obviously create a layer and then give it a bit of a blur or a little bit of a sharpen just to add that little bit more depth, a little bit more texture to that image and to the background. And that way also as well, if you're going to be working on separate layers, you can then just combine those layers and then you've got your own unique image of the uh, the canvas that you've created. If you take away the, the people in the portraits, if you switch those layers off and then just save that as one solid canvas backdrop, you can just recreate, reuse that backdrop over and over and over again within any of your images to get that same look that you like all the time. Or you can create a completely unique backdrops all of the time to suit the color palette of your choice, whatever you're shooting, whatever image, whatever clothes people are wearing within the image, props, you can suit a really nice color palette which complements all of the, the uh, elements within your photograph. So we've created a new layer and we're going to just use the same brush, number one brush, and we're just going to keep adding different patterns, random patterns all over the backdrop and just using different colors all of the time making the brush larger and smaller. Now this is key to making it work really well, is making the brush size different all of the time. And that's going to give you just different overlays of texture on texture on texture. Now the idea is to just to dab the brush on, not to wipe. We're not wiping the brush over because that's just going to give you one big splurge over the canvas. We're dabbing the brush all over the canvas to use the texture within the brush to create that depth in the canvas that we're trying to create. So we'll continue to do that and continue to keep that vignette around the subject and we'll just keep adding those to the backdrop, the canvas on this first layer. Now, once I'm happy with that look to the layer, I'm then going to give it a little bit of a Gaussian blur. Now, around about 4.9 is kind of a nice sweet spot for me. It's not too much, it's not too little, um, and it's just giving enough blur to the background. Now, once I've created that blur on this background, I'm then going to select a second layer and start building up the uh, another layer of uh, colors and patterns using the brushes on that layer and again we're just building that up like that just builds a nice depth in that background and just really help recreate that look of the hand painted canvas backdrops which these talented guys paint so so well so again we'll just uh, use the dark brush and just keep that vignette going around our subject uh, and keep it really nice and focused on Alex and just randomly picking different brushes now I tend to just use between one and two brushes when I'm creating these backdrops. You don't really need to use more than that. You can if you wish, but I just feel that making the brushes larger and smaller helps just replicate a really solid look to the canvas backdrop. So once I've uh, finished using this brush, I'm gonna go and select brush number four, which is a bigger and it's got a heavier tex texture to the, uh, to the brush. So if we select brush number four, and we're just going to use that and just add that around the vignette. And you can see there straight away, it's starting to look really good around Alex already. And that's just using, that's just applying the second layer. So once I'm happy with the look of that, I'll give that another Gaussian blue. But I'm making sure I'm keeping that vignette going around Alex just to keep the focus on Alex. So again, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to give that another blue. And I'm just going to use the same amount of blue on that layer. And then once I'm finished with that layer, I'm going to add another layer on top of that and just keep building those layers up. Now we can mix it between a blue and um, just using the texture brushes or giving it a little bit more of a sharpen just to give it a little bit more depth to it. Again, the, it comes down to your taste. I'm just going to show you the method that I use to create these and it'll give you guys a bit of a guideline how you can create your own, using your own color palette and your own way using these brushes. It really is a fantastic way of uh, creating a solid look and hand paint canvas backdrop. It really is, it's fantastic. And I love this process. So we'll continue with the brush again, making the brushes nice and big in small different sizes, mixing up the color palette, super essential, and just keep going until you like the look of the image. I mean, as it stands now, three layers in, that looks fantastic. You just leave it there and uh, save that image, or you can continue until you're, you're super happy with the way it's looking. Um, again, just making the brushes bigger and smaller, adding different colors, keeping the vignette going around Alex, which just makes the whole image just tie in and it's just starting to look really, really nice. I like working like this. I like creating the selection around the model and uh, obviously just adding the textures to the background. It's a really good way of, uh, of working and I can just build up bit by bit. So I'm going to add the last layer, layer four. I'm going to add a little bit more texture at the top of that and I'm going to probably just try and increase the vignette around Alex by creating a little bit more of a light spot behind him uh, using again brush number one. 
and it's starting to really, really come together. It's starting to really look fantastic. It really is. I'm really happy with that. So what we can do is we can put all of these images into a layer, into a group itself, by itself, and we'll just switch that on and off. You can see how effective that looks to the image. It just looks fantastic. It looks so natural as well. It doesn't look like it's being painted on. It just looks like it's a natural canvas backdrop, and that's because we've built up layer by layer to creating that depth in the, the, the canvas itself and that's what kind of sells it as a real canvas. Now what I like to do from this point is when I'm, once I'm happy with the look of the canvas is I'll apply my own colour grade to my images which can just desaturate a little bit of blue tone to the shadows um, and that just ties in and that just finishes off my images, my portrait images, that's how I like to work and it just ties everything together. Um, but without the colour grade itself, it just looks fantastic anyways. You don't need to add a colour grade, it's not necessary. It's just something I like to do to finish off my images. All my portraits have this colour grade applied. Um, you can do the same with yours if there's a, a certain look that you like to your images. But I find that this just uh, it suits my style, it really does. So there you go folks, that is it. That is how you can create your own hand-painted canvas textures to your portraits nice and easy and with a matter of minutes. Now obviously I've picked this colour palette. And um, that's because I like these tones within. It goes with the floor, it goes with the shoes, and the kind of the, the kind of subtle orangey brown kind of stand out with the blue denim. So it's like the, almost an opposite type of tone to the the uh, the colours within the image. So if you guys have images which have obviously different coloured clothes and you want to kind of complement that, you can use these brush textures. It really is a great way of doing it. And um, when I find it very free way of creating those beautiful looks to the backgrounds. Now I have created another image which I'll let run after this video. I'll probably speed it up a bit, do a bit of a time lapse where I've actually shot um, Tom Gold on in the studio on a hand painted artery canvas backdrop. Um, but what I'll do is I'll cut him out of that backdrop and place him on my own using the same colour palette from that backdrop just to show you how effective it is. It's never going to be exactly the same. I'm not trying to copy, I'm not trying to replicate that background because you're going to create your own unique backgrounds all of the time but I'll show you how effective it is using these brushes to create your hand-painted canvas backdrop. Um, so stick around and watch that one at the end, but I'll speed that one up, guys, so you can, uh, you can see how that is done. Now, like I say, if you are interested in buying these brushes, you can head over to the website where you can actually download all the brushes from the website. 76 in the pack, water splashes, smoke, uh, clouds. There's a lot in that pack, folks. You really won't be disappointed. If you are sitting on the fence and you're unsure whether to download them or not or whether to buy these brushes, if you want the free sample, head over to the website, subscribe to the mailing list, and I'll send you out two free canvases which we've created in this tutorial. You guys can check those out, add them to your own images and see what they look like and get the feel for how these brushes are going to work for you. So it's kind of a try before you buy scenario, if you like. Um, but again, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who has already purchased the brushes. A really big thank you to you guys. And the feedback has been phenomenal. So thanks very much. It's much, much appreciated. It really is. So there you go folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, flick the notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted because I will be doing more videos using this brush pack. And uh, I will see you folks in the next one. See you then.